Welcome back, family. I know that it has been a hot minute since we last saw each other, but today is a great day to meet back up because boy, do I have a banger for you. I just got a new camera in the mail, fresh from the homies at B&H, and you already know that a new camera means a new unboxing. And I am just giddy as a child about it because today we are unboxing the Mac Daddy CinemaLine Sony FX6. I'll get a little bit more into the nuances and reasoning behind why I got this camera a little later in the video, but for now we're just gonna focus on unboxing it and giving some first impressions, seeing how this bad boy feels. Pause. Also, before we get into this, this is not sponsored. I bought this with my own cash, so all opinions are my own. Starting off, this box is really hefty. And to be honest, I, I see a lot of people asking, you know, why do they put the CinemaLine cameras in the more basic box? I like this. I think it's much more like utilitarian looking. Don't mean to sound super douchey when I say that, but I prefer kind of minimal packaging like this. So I'm pretty psyched about it. It looks like this is the hand grip. This is one of the many things that I am really excited about with this camera. I really love the ergonomics of the FX6 and I'm super excited to see what this handle does. Let's do a little quick in hand test. This is one of the main things that attracted me about the FX6. It's just got that kind of camcorder control feel to it. Really love the way this is feeling in the hand. I'll let you get a look at kind of how everything else is arranged in the box because this is kind of taking up my whole frame right here. I'm gonna get everything out on the table so we can see it better and then we'll unpack it further from there. All right, so we have all of our main components right here. All the exciting stuff is here. All the boring stuff is here. You already know we gotta build the anticipation a little bit, unbox the boring stuff. But truly this is all exciting to me. So let's just dig into it. Right here, it looks like we have the charger for the BPU style battery. All good. And here we have the actual battery itself, it looks like. I don't really feel the need to take this further out of the box. It's a battery. We all know what batteries look like. So we're gonna set that aside, and get to more of the good stuff. This looks like our sun hood. I've heard mixed things about the reliability of this, but I did find a fix for it on YouTube as to how to get it to stay on the LCD. So we'll see if that works. I'm gonna do that a little bit later because that's gonna void warranty and everything, but here is the power for the BPU charger and it looks like some Catalyst Browse paperwork. Next up, it looks like we have the monitor assembly here. It feels pretty good to me. It rotates well. I like that it kind of locks. The buttons feel nice on it. I know that it may not be the greatest, but I'm really liking how this feels so far. It's nice and big, kind of bigger than what I'm used to on something like the A7S III, obviously. So. I'm excited to have a bit of a bigger screen, more of kind of a dedicated tool. I also really love that this is modular and that you can move it around the body. That was a huge plus with this camera for me and I'm very excited because on the A7S III, when I have the screen out and I'm trying to plug HDMI, USB-C and everything into it, it becomes a clutter, especially when I'm trying to use a side handle on it. So I'm very psyched that this has multiple mounting options and that I just have more freedom with it. Next, we're going to have our top handle. It does feel high quality. I really love the paint job on this, the kind of uh, speckled finish that this has. I'm not really sure if you can see it. I'm an idiot when it comes to using the top camera, but all the dials feel great. This dial actually feels really good. The record button feels good. Pretty much standard what we're used to on mirrorless. This is also my first experience with pro audio built into the camera. I have the A7S III, not the FX3, so I have not yet experienced true XLR inputs with my camera. And now for the main event, what everyone came here for, what so much of my blood, sweat, and tears has gone to, and quite frankly, what I'm getting very excited in the pants about, the FX6. I've heard how many people have said how light this body is, and for what it is, it is pretty light, but this has a very good amount of heft to it. Oh, mercy. Oh, I need a minute. I need just a, a, just a second. Just holding this in my hand and seeing it and feeling it, this is so much better than even I could have hoped for. This is so much better feeling, better looking, than I could have possibly hoped for. We'll get the special top view going for the folks at home. Look at all those beautiful buttons and ergonomics. This is what a video camera is supposed to look like. To be quite honest with you and just, just, just to be real, 
I, I can't believe that I have this. I cannot believe that I finally own something like the FX6. You know, camera bodies, I think, frequently kind of mark chapters and eras for filmmakers. And I don't mean that from like a buying gear gets you further standpoint. I just mean, you know, I, I've put in so much work and, and effort to get here. I feel like, you know, lately with the A7S III, I've really been experiencing some growing pains and I really just have gotten to the point where I feel like I can take advantage of everything this camera has to offer. And honestly, the built-in ND filter and ergonomics of this camera alone are reasons for me to upgrade. I cannot wait to use this thing in the field. All right, so I got some of the sap out of the way. Let's put this thing together and see how it's starting to feel. That definitely feels like it's on there to stay. I've heard things about this kind of coming loose after a full day of shooting, so I'll be the judge of that when it's time, but for now, it feels really good. I like that it plugs into the body and that it just screws in nice and tight. Now we're going to install our super nice side grip onto the body, and we're gonna do this a lot like a lens. There's a white dot here and a white dot there, and you just kind of join the two and rotate it into place. That feels absolutely incredible. I am so, so psyched about the fact that you can rotate this handle back and forth for different shooting configurations. I can't tell you how many times on something like the A7S III when I have my side handle on, just a basic NATO rail, how many times that I wish when I was shooting kind of a high or a low angle that I could rotate the grip or something to make it more comfortable. I do know that they have rotating grips for the camera, but again, as I said earlier, when you include something like that on a smaller body, especially a photo style body, it's, it just gets cluttered. And when you've got cables and stuff routed around the camera, it's not always the easiest unless you want to just make it a huge rig and mount it down on the rails or something. I love how this just out of the box is ready to go how you need it. I also love that you've got a record button and a custom button. Again, on the A7S III, when you've got a cage on, a full cage at least, the record button is kind of a pain to reach. This is made for the field. And it's just so incredible how they've designed this. Now we're gonna add our monitor, and I know that people tend to put it up here, but I think I'm going to put mine back here. I really like the idea of the monitor kind of resting here somewhere and being just close to my face. But of course, the beauty with something like this is you can change it whenever you want. So we have our monitor on for now, tentatively. I couldn't figure out how to get it right here. I'm gonna have to watch some tutorials and stuff and other rig configurations to see exactly how to get it there. I like the level of rotation you have. I love the fact that it has buttons on it and actual function and it just feels amazing so far both of my main lenses are currently in use for the sake of the video so i'm going to run real quick and grab some vintage glass that we can throw on this and kind of see how it's feeling all put together we are going to expose our gorgeous full frame e-mount sensor and i'm going to throw a pentax 50 mil on it this looks kind of silly i'm not going to lie to you this looks uh how would the kids say a, a little, a, a little chody, little baby lens on this big old camera? But I really like this Pentax 50 mil. I've been playing with it more and more lately. I really like the character it gives. Gives you a lot of that pro mist look, super smooth roll off without the need of any filters or anything like that. So our battery is now officially in and we are ready to go. We are ready for whatever with this right now. And that's the coolest thing about this. And I can't stress enough to you how absolutely perfect this feels in the hand. The weight is distributed so much better than when I rig out my mirrorless. I cannot tell you how straight up excited I am to get this on my live event gigs, on my corporate dock work. So that was it. That was everything in the box. We've got the camera assembled. I'll do some tests with it later. There's gonna be plenty of videos surrounding this camera, but I did wanna get into a little bit of why I bought it. I've kind of spoiled some of it already throughout the video, but the main reason that I picked this camera up was just because I was starting to feel some growing pains with my A7S. And look, I'll be the first one to tell you that the A7S III is still one of the best cameras on the market. I still think in its weight class, it is the best buy. Over Panasonic offerings, over Canon offerings, over Nikon offerings, any of it. I think that for the money, the A7S III is still the best camera you can buy because of the reliability, the feature list, the full frame sensor, Everything involved really makes this a generational type camera. The A7S III opened so many huge doors for me. It added so many crazy features and simplicity to my workflow. And it has just been such a reliable workhorse. And it's gonna remain in my workflow for years. The only time that some cracks do begin to show with something like the A7S III or the FX3 even 
is when you are on those bigger sets and bigger productions, when you're fully rigging out your kit. And I'm just the kind of guy, I've never really enjoyed rigging out something like the A7S III with ergonomics that are really inherited from a photo body. The thing that I am most excited about with the FX6 is that it is a video camera. This thing does not take photos. There's nothing wrong with hybrids or anything, but I am a filmmaker, I'm a videographer. It's just, it matches my current workflow the best. That's really as simple as it gets. If you watch my channel, you do know that I'm a Sony shooter through and through. I really love their products. I'm not sponsored. I'm not even a fanboy. I just really love their cameras. I kind of think that they're the Apple of the camera world. Their stuff just works. It might not have quite as many features as the next guy. It might not do something the best, but when it comes to everything and being an all-in-one package, I think that Sony just really truly has it on lock. Like I said earlier, I think that cameras kind of mark eras for filmmakers and they kind of show where you're at at the time. They show what you need, they show what you're looking to get you know, out of a system, and I'm very excited to be at the point where I feel like the FX6 is for me. It'll get me emotional if I, if I think about it too much, and I just, I'm very thankful, and I, I'm very appreciative, and I can't believe that I'm here. I bought some pretty cool accessories for this, and I plan on using it on some really cool gigs in the future coming up, and I'm definitely gonna make a lot more content surrounding it, so definitely let me know what else you're wanting to see. I also really appreciate you sitting here and watching me geek out over a new camera. I always appreciate the views and you know the comments and everything so, so much. Let me know what else you wanna see, and we'll get the train rolling this year. I'm super excited. Always remember that you are blessed and you are loved. And as always, I'll be back soon.